In the year of 1964, Jerry's Nugget Casino was founded by Jerry Lodge and Jerry Stemmis in North Las Vegas, Nevada. A few years later, in the year of 1970, they decided to launch a deck of playing cards, you know, their casino deck, to go along uh, with their casino they were running. These were the Jerry's Nugget playing cards. When the shipment came in, they ended up never really using these in the casino, and they ended up selling them in their gift shop for 50 cents. This deck was printed by the United States Playing Card Company, which at the time ran out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and now runs out of the state of Kentucky. This was the same company that made all your basic playing cards, the you know the bicycle rider backs that we're used to using today. And people really liked these playing cards because they had a very unique feel. Um, they weren't your typical air cushion playing cards. They had a bit of a different feel to them. And it was just a very unique thing that you cannot replicate. And to this day, there is nothing like the original Jerry's Legacy playing cards on the market. In the year of 1983, a magician named Frank Simon wrote a book called Versatile Card Magic. And in every picture demonstrating a magic trick in that book, he used the Jerry's Nugget playing card. This is what kind of started the spark as far as magicians wanting to use these playing cards. For one, you had a very unique feeling deck of playing cards. And for two, you had a magician that used them and just made this very popular. This caused a bit of an increase in popularity in these playing cards as magicians really started to love using these cards when performing magic tricks. The way these cards were made and their unique style, they lasted a very long time before ever starting to wear out. It got so popular in fact that in the year of 1999, a French magician bought 40,000 decks of these playing cards. And Jerry's Nuggets are the only type of playing cards he will use in his magic shows even to this day. Basically buying almost every single deck of Jerry's Nugget playing cards that were there. These cards became increasingly rare, popular, and very iconic in the magic community. If you want to get your hands on an original Jerry's Nugget blue seal from Cincinnati, Ohio deck of playing cards, it's going to cost you in the ballpark of $500 more or less. Obviously today, there's a lot of reprints, basically to feel more like a modern deck of playing cards because that's what those magicians want to use, right? But if you want, you can purchase a deck of Jerry's Nuggets that feel at least very similar to the original feel of Jerry's Nuggets. And I recently have purchased a deck of vintage feel Jerry's Casino playing cards. These cards are made by the expert playing card company. They do their best to replicate the original Jerry's Nuggets, even down to the tuck case. You have the offset uh, blue seal right there obviously this is not an original blue seal this is just they tried to make a look like an original deck of cards and today i'm gonna be telling you if it's worth buying these or not and if you're gonna like it obviously this is all my opinion if you want to know if you're gonna like it buy it yourself let me be giving you my opinion on how i feel about it how it feels to me basically to the best of my knowledge i'm gonna tell you how these feel and you can decide for yourself if you want to buy these or not if you're thinking about buying a vintage field deck of jerry's nuggets playing cards watch this video and hopefully i can give you enough insight with all that said let's get right into it and here they are guys, the Jerry's Nugget playing cards. Now this is by the expert playing card company as I mentioned. And if you read on the back here, it'll even tell you. The vintage feel deck was carefully made using J and finish in order to duplicate as best as possible the feel of the original Jerry's deck of 1970. Made in PRC by expert playing card company by exclusive license from Jerry's Nugget Casino. And that's what we're here with today is the vintage feel. So this is obviously not the actual feel. It's just very, very close to it. So let's go ahead and open these up. First thing you're going to notice is the offset blue seal, um, just to copy the original tuck case. Whenever you open it up here, you get this thick uh, flap. That's how a lot of the old decks were back in that time. And then you get the playing cards. Now, right off the bat, they definitely have a different feeling than the air cushion finish I think we're all used to. They definitely feel a lot more stiff. Um, you could probably break into these, but as far as dribbles and springs are really difficult to do. That wasn't too bad. It's just hard to bend the cards and get them into place to do a card spring. As far as spreading goes, I mean, I I can still, I can fan them pretty decently. It's not hard to do a card fan, as you guys can see. They definitely have a bit of a different feel, and I don't know how to explain it. It's like a hybrid mix of air cushion finish that we're used to, but also like a bit of a plasticky feeling. If you guys are familiar with the modern day aviator playing cards, how they have like this plastic coating, that's kind of what this feels like. It feels like a plastic coating. But everything just spreads extremely well and it, like, it handles much better than your typical plastic deck. So when I say it feels like a hybrid between air cushion and plastic um, flimsy playing cards, that's legitimately what it feels like. The back design does look very much identical <laughs> to the original Jerry's Nugget playing cards. The faces also do, I mean, compliments of North Las Vegas. The spade looks identical to the original Jerry's Nugget uh, casino, Ace of Spades. And the cards themselves, the faces are basically uh, standard. Nothing really special going on with them. They look pretty much identical to the original Jerry's Nugget deck. 
But this isn't a deck review. This isn't me saying how much I like the faces. This is me telling you how they handle. I'm gonna give them their first shuffle real quick. The shuffling definitely felt a little different than typically does. It definitely felt like whenever you shuffle plastic cards, like whenever you shuffle those cheap gift card decks, that's kind of what this Riffle Shuffle feels like. It doesn't feel like everything flows as smoothly as it does with your typical air cushion finish deck. It just feels a bit clumpy, and it feels like it's going to be clumpy whenever you push them together, but they don't. They're still spread very easily, so like this deck just kind of fools you if you're not used to it, I guess you could say. Now, as previously mentioned in this video, uh, I am not a cardist by any means. I do dabble in the arts a little bit. I mean, as you can see, I uh, can do the worm here, and that's about it. <laughs> and this, this is all I can do. But when it comes to cardistry, I think you do have a bit of an advantage with this deck because the cards... Um, stay together a little bit better with air cushion especially brand new air cushion and especially with like a crushed stock the cards tend to slip very easily I mean you can see the cards kind of stick together whenever I just let them slide into the other hand They kind of tend to stick together a little bit this deck doesn't really do that they tend to I mean look at the swing cut There was no really cards trying to slip out of the other hand or anything if you guys know what I mean I've been trying to get my revolutionary cut back down. I mean as you can see the cards didn't slip at all I mean they just all stayed together very well so if you're a cardist, this deck might come in handy just because the cards tend to kind of stick together a little bit. And for doing all kinds of fancy cuts and stuff like that, I think you definitely have a bit of an advantage when it comes to using this deck. As far as magic goes, if you want to do a magic trick with these, it's very possible. And really, honestly, if you're a magician and these really do feel extremely similar to the original Jerry's Nugget, I don't really see the whole hype as far as handling goes. Yes, it is a very unique feeling. The handling to me, I definitely prefer the handling of a uh, original air cushion finish deck that we use today. So for my personal opinion, um, I would buy this deck if you're interested in finding a unique feel because it's obviously your opinion. I don't hate how these cards feel. I just prefer uh, the typical air cushion finish. Maybe because that's just what I'm used to. I might be biased, but maybe if you were to give these to someone and say, you know, who's not really familiar with deck of cards and say which one you like better, they might choose these. I don't know. But yes, as far as spreading out cards um, and stuff like that, at least what I do, I don't do a whole lot of fancy cuts and stuff like that. I'm a magician. I do a lot of card spreading and stuff like that. But if you're a cardist and you're doing a lot of fancy cuts, you might prefer the feel of this deck more. It's really just what you're into. I more or less bought these for the collector side of it. Aside from being a magician, I'm also a card collector. I collect different decks of playing cards and this deck is, you know, unique and it's different. So that's mainly why I bought it. I probably won't really be performing with this deck. It'll just be on my little shelf of different playing cards and stuff. The handling is definitely different than what you're used to if you're used to just using basic air cushion finish, but it's not a terrible feeling. Like, you can still very well do different side of hand moves. Like, if I want to do the double lift, I can do a quick double lift for you. Boom, we got the five of hearts here. Watch this. I'm going to take the five of hearts Give it a little spinny spin just like this, and boom, it's the Ace of Hearts now. So you can still basically do sleight of hand with it. It's not impossible or difficult at all. You can still basically do everything you do with a normal deck of cards with this deck. Would I recommend buying this? Yes, I would if you just want to try something different. It's not a bad handling. It's just different, and uh, it's all up to you and what you prefer. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was different than what you're normally used to on my channel. You know, I got like a little bit more of a, like a documentary vibe going on. I hope you guys liked it. It feels refreshing to do something like that when I've been doing the same thing on this channel for so long. If you guys want to see more stuff like that, let me know. Like I said, I'm trying to change up what this channel is a little bit. And I really did work hard on this video. I mean, I took notes. I mean, like, <laughs> I did research for this video. That's not what I'm normally used to doing. But nevertheless, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of it, let me know. If you want to see less of it, let me know. And with all that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Peace out.